This song, this is too analytical. I feel like we're, we're being so serious about these songs. <laughs> what do we think about these? Like, we don't know what the f we're talking about. We just heard the goddamn albums that we're trying to talk, explain I, it. Try to give you people a rundown. That's, That's all right, I'm trying to do. The f***ing rundown. If you take us seriously, you're an idiot. Welcome to Every Album Ever with Mike and Alex. My name is Michael Monsoon. I'm joined, as always, by my horn out, our merch co-host, Alexander Volt. Say Hello. Hello. This is every album. Remember the podcast we listen to every single album in the world, one artist at a time. That's usually a discography per episode, but hey, we're trying something different because we're tired. All right. We're only covering <laughs> one album, a brand new album, more or less new, newish album that came out this year. What are we, what are we covering today, Alex? Russian Circles Gnosis. Hell yes. So this is uh, for, for those that have been with us for a long time. Thank you. You're better. Uh, for those that are new. Hello. Uh, yeah. The. the new foray into only covering intentionally one brand new album just to give us a fucking breather a with breather? maybe some youtube money uh prob probably not but we can try we can try <laughs> we can finally we, here's the we can tr we can try now yes before we couldn't try because of all the copyright shit. yes it's uh it's we weren't allowed we weren't allowed to fail before now we have the golden opportunity uh if you want to help us out and support us please for the love of god subscribe leave comments talk if you want i really don't care uh just hang out just hang out if you want to do that uh you can find the full uh full album in the description gnosis by russian circles if you want to do that uh we usually have plays associated with our bigger episodes you can find all, all those at every and yada yada you know what we need baby patreon patreon.com slash every album ever there we have a lot more stuff you get uh bonus episodes the early access to, to our loose ends episodes you get 20 percent off all our merch like this uh, alex is wearing right now you get to see our schedule in advance you get to vote on polls to decide who we're covering next if you're just signed up you can join the discord and not only talk shit with us but you get to suggest these episodes these episodes like this one right now this one wasn't requested because we just wanted to cover this album but we have a whole discord channel where you our patrons just throw in their picks that they want us to talk about and we, we pick them out pick those some bitches out so you can do that and most importantly, if you're tier two, if you're bigger than Jesus, if you give us more money, really, uh, then we can do a big, giant, full discography episode for you. That's the only way we'll do it. They take a lot of time. They've taken our entire lives for the past three years. Uh, we need to be compensated. There's no way. There's no way else. I'm sorry. And I'm not even a little bit sorry. I'm fucking tired. But I'm also really excited to be covering music that I, I want to hear, but just never have time for. Like yes. this. Yes. This is, uh, this is a treat. It's it's. It's weird. It, it's different, but uh, we're we're all gonna be okay. Yes, I agree. Uh, so we listened to this uh, album a few times. Wait, wait. Um, I know. I know we both like Russian circles, but I don't know to the extent you of know, which we do. You know what? I realize what that is. I've seen them live a few times, and mm -hmm. every time I'm like, they're killer. Yeah. I think I throw throw them on like occasionally. I actually, know very little. <laughs> Same. I, I know yeah. uh, nothing about them other than Mike Sullivan apparently being a funny guy and a very likable guy. Mm -hmm. um, also, they're all talented. But and and also 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 Bill, uh, Bill Burr being a big fan yes. because of the drummer. Yes. Uh, which is a very funny, odd, weird little Random. overlapping. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're on they're on Sergeant House, so they must. My favorite label. My favorite uh, current. My my favorite active label. They must be good. <laughs> That's not true. Uh, no, I mean, it's they, not true. They are but, good, but man, I the, mean, for a year in, for a year end episodes, I usually like I just jump immediately first into Sergeant House. Like, okay, what you guys got? Yeah. And some of those, like, that's rough. <laughs> it's really rough. Oh my but, god, I'm not gonna say who, but let me say, good batting average. Very good, very very high batting average. Um, I don't know. What do you think of the album? I enjoyed it. Uh, this is not, um, you know, not too different from what they've done no no um it does feel a little more gr grand and and cinematic yeah compared to their other stuff less uh say, i guess cinematic is the right word it's yeah. a lot i felt chunkier it felt uh uh i don't know i like it i don't love it <laughs> yeah i did i did like it a lot though like yeah. I, I went back to it a few times uh more than a few times uh but there's something something super duper i don't know if this is if the thing with all their albums but it's just like 
so dark all the way through until they go a little bit light and then i somehow like the light stuff even less <laughs> there, there's like two moments of levity uh yeah uh so we can we can go track by track since we're talking about all this shit. yeah uh because most of this album is like the evilest of evil dark angry metalist of metal yes this is insanely evil mad metal it feels uh, like more so than i'm used to with this band somehow yeah and um real quick before i jumped on i saw they had their gear stolen i remember that i remember when that happened yeah so that kind of impacted the sound of the album that's uh, a bummer i mean the guitar player said he switched from fender amps to high watt mm-hmm Amps. Mm. I don't know any of this stuff. And then uh, the funniest guitar name I've ever heard, the Narwhal. Uh, Narwhal. How do you spell that? Oh man, should have this. I was like, I'm not gonna forget this. This is a silly <laughs> guitar. Let's see. First of all, that looks just like a Univox for guitar nerds. You probably you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. This. Um. What is it? Oh yeah, narwhal. I've never heard of a narwhal. Oh damn! I thought you. I thought you knew these things, Mike. But it, it, the shape of it is very univoxy, which is like you know. I think Kurt Cobain had one of those types of things. Um, I mean, that's the reference that I, I think is the most easily recognizable. Uh, my brother had one. I don't know if it's, I think he took it with him, but it used to be around the house, yeah. like, um, not that kind, but just that that's that's that style and shape. And then the other thing about. Well, a little bit of groundwork for this album is, uh, I, I believe, engineered, maybe not produced. I want to, I want to get it right. Yeah, yeah. Engineered and mastered by Kurt Ballou. Uh, Ballou, Bayou, Bayou. Uh, possibly, I don't know. Of Converge. Ooh, yeah, ooh, interesting, interesting. Uh, so, <laughs> I like how yeah. they're going engineered and mastered because no one wants to use the word producer anymore. I. They'll take after Albini or something. It, yeah. Also from Chicago, Chicago band. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know that. Didn't even know that. So yeah, we got we got all the fixins for for something we usually like here for sure. And also like I've only seen them live once, and my God, are they so f- good live? And it's also doubly super super duper doubly impressive um, that it's only a three piece, and I, I believe Mike uses a lot of loops, like live loops, which is very difficult to do with a band setting and very mm-hmm. impressive. Um, but the time I saw them was with you. It was their opening for Macedon. B- but more importantly, they were. It was a three. It was a three build. A three build show. Uh, they were the openers, and then after them was Eagles of Death Metal. Oh man! And yeah, then Macedon. Not, yeah. Talk about a shit sandwich, dude. I yeah. mean, oh my god! Like they were amazing, but yeah. they were so much more amazing going before one of the worst fucking bands that I've ever seen live. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of uh, Eagles. Death. They're a, listen, they're a fun, entertaining live band, I guess, but their music is absolute dog shit. I fucking can't take it. Yeah. Go ahead and hate us. I don't care. I mean, what in the world have they done that a million other bands haven't done? I fucking hate them. And usually I'm a fan of like three very different bands being on the build together. For example, I saw uh, Deftones and Gorgira a few months ago, and that was perfect. That was very cool. Um, but then it's like you have these moody metal bands with uh Russian circles, Mastodon, and then Eagles doesn't really fit. I don't, not, I don't not, in care. A, not in a fun way. I don't even care about like the, the vibe difference because I love a good fun band. It just I'm listening to these three chord songs and the guy, the singer is, is all charisma. Like if he wasn't as like likable and fun as he is, that there is no reason to ever, ever listen to them or, or watch them. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. It drives me crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> People come here for Russian circles. Stay for the. They were bad, man. I don't want to tell you Russian circles is pretty good. But back to the album, because uh, we've talked very little about this one other than that. I said it was evil. Um. Yeah. So that opening track, I love. Was it Tupelec? Tupelec. Tupelec. Uh, yeah. Something like that. I love like a big big tom beat with yeah. the with the strings over it just really sets a good tone for it even they or they even bring in the synths towards the end there it's just uh, a good opener it's a good opener um i mean that's what i felt that i mean that opener felt like a lot of the album for me even though i i keep it's not like i'm shitting on it i do like the album a lot <clears throat> but so much of it 
I guess I was missing the minimalism of the mm. band. I don't know because I haven't heard all their albums. I only heard like a yeah. handful, which is, makes me like a, a bad person to talk about this. Who cares? I don't know. Um, I did like. What, I don't even know which albums I've seen. This is how much of a bad fan I am. <laughs> like, I'm not a huge Russian Circles guy. I just like what I've heard. Yeah. Uh, was it Memorial? Uh, it might have been Memorial. That's the the album that I was pretty obsessed with. Yeah. In fact, uh, I'm almost guaranteed it was Memorial. Uh, either way, it doesn't doesn't matter. Um, this this aside from uh, what's what's the one? I'm not gonna try to read the name because it looks like it's in Nordic, of some sort. Uh, the little minimal guitar transition piece. Um, oh, is is it? Oh, yeah. Not O'Brannan. Uh, uh, Obr- hold on. Obreonian or no Obreonane? I'm not. You know what? Don't, don't know. Don't know. It. Hey, that don't track, know that track. <laughs> what number is it? It's fucking five. Track five. <laughs> the one that's short. <laughs> Christ's sake. Uh, aside from that one, it was. It, it, it's all extra and heavy, and there's a lot more since. Uh, at least I think it's since. Maybe it could just be loops. It feels everything feels more full and jam packed. Which isn't a bad thing. I just wanted. I just like more minimalism. Mm-hmm. Um, space th- in between. I think the the opener is like I wouldn't call it crushing or like punishing, but it's pretty what, brutal though. Once uh, I mean, like compared to Conduit. Oh, Conduit. Yeah, yeah. That one. That one brings like the heavy and like very gallopy, super gallopy. And yeah, there's some like interesting guitar tones and stuff going on there or at least for uh a, a normie like me who doesn't play guitar i was just like huh that was uh that's an interesting choice one thing mike does a lot he does a lot of duh duh was it ugh, i can't even i'm losing my fucking words double picking tremolo mm-hmm. picking um you know black metal really fast but not palm muted um does that over loops or maybe that, that is a loop and he's playing. So I don't know which is which, but it ends up having this very, uh, very ethereal, scary kind of reverberating through the, the, the you know, feels like you're in a room and it's circling you kind of thing. It's very cool. Uh, it does that a lot uh, um, throughout the whole album. I mean, it does that a lot, period, but I did like the way it was done here quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, because you keep talking about scary black metal <laughs> stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Skip around a little track four. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Last mill, last, last a mill, last a mill, last a mill. That's the most like it's almost like symphonic black metal. It, yeah, I, I don't want to yeah. call it that, but almost. And it's like a, it's what you would recognize as the the black metal blasting, but just slowed down. So like slow that kind of one two beat down, mm-hmm. but still it still it still reads or registers as black metal esque. Yes. Which is cool, um, but at that point, at that point, everything was kind of falling into samey territory. I was like, I'm everything is just so fucking evil and angry. Like, give me Re- something else. Really? Because I felt like track the title track. The title track is my favorite song now, for sure. That's like the most prog territory they go. Like the, the yeah. guitars are a little more clean and fancy. Yes. Um, so the final third is where it kind of gets more, a little bit more emotional and, and gets really big. I love yeah. that shit. That's my, f- that's, I love that song. Yeah. Um, and, it, and especially like the, the beginning chunks really channeling, channel, unsurprisingly channeling some ISIS, uh, mm-hmm. definitely feels, all, I mean, I think they're, they, they stated openly how influenced they are by ISIS, but, um, yeah. So the, uh, that one, I ended up going back to that one a lot. <clears throat> It just kind of stuck with me the most. I think it has the most character out of every song on here uh, because it feels like it has the, the yeah, it, it dabbles a little bit of everything. It's got the angry, it's got the emotional, but for the most part, it's all fucking evil. Ex- I mean, aside from Bloom, which is the closer. Yes, which I thought, you know, brutal evil stuff. And then Bloom is a very nice, like, venturing almost into like explosions in the sky and i very post rock yeah i hate to <laughs> compare every instrumental band but uh, there are only three post rock bands alex at godspeed explosions in the sky and russian circles yeah, russian. that's, that's <laughs> i don't know if russian circles would be put in that category uh i think they're more post metal uh, yeah um what was it what was i saying um Bloom, well, it I do like it for them. 
This song, it's just too analytical. I feel like we're, we're being so serious about these songs. <laughs> we think about these. Like, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. We just heard the goddamn albums and we're trying to talk, explain I it. Try to give you people a rundown. That's this, all right, I'm trying to the do. The fucking rundown. If you take us seriously, you're an idiot. Anyway. <laughs> the rundown with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And uh, Thez being Sean William Scott. But Hell yeah. Bloom, uh, as much as I, I did appreciate it for how, how like, more, not, it's not mellow. It's just more gentle and it's more hopeful even it's uh mm-hmm. you know very pretty i don't want like the way it's written so much i felt like okay this is just a standard emotional song that happens to be and it's played like a beast it's produced like a beast they're very good i just don't like the way it's written don't care much for those progressions at all if it was on any other album i think i wouldn't like it mm. but here i like it just because it's the it's the it's one of the few moments of levity in a, a very brutal album and yeah yeah and then um we didn't talk about it but, but betrayal is another one of the semi quasi black metal style stuff oh yeah between, between the pretty things you get i think so i mean i like side two a lot yeah um if, if you can That's, classify this as sides i don't really you know but uh, the back half back half let's just yeah. say back half um and I, I do think betrayal peters out a little bit at the end but i think it's right i mean every song in here is good in its own way mm-hmm. uh i just felt uh the 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 layer of sameness I would I would be interested to um you know casually not like the psychopath way we consume discographies but yeah <laughs> casually go through the discography and see these these changes we we normally do because like, yeah for, for an instrumental band it's uh it's interesting it is interesting I like them a lot um and I there's something about um really big powerful bands that I think gets lost on recordings mm. because these songs live, maybe not these ones specifically, I haven't seen them in a while, but their songs live are so punishing. They're so fucking powerful. They might be coming around. If you click that more shows, oh, it looks like they're making their way over. On their, oh, 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 hold on, dude. Oh, hold on. Play at the region, dude. They're playing at the region. I can probably get in there for free. Hell yeah. Let's I mean, I, I don't like cashing in on that. I feel it's bad. It's like next week. Let's fuck it. Ah, fuck it. It's too short notice. <laughs> LFG. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but you know, like uh, it's not just them. It's just it's any band that mm-hmm. that that's usually a, really, a, a force live on the records. We're used to hearing really good, powerful records. So it doesn't really feel as distinct or as moving. So you just hear like, oh, it's, it's, it sounds good. It's a good, strong, yes. heavy band. But it was like, no, you don't realize how fucking crazy they are. Yeah, there may be other albums that drive the point home better. But yeah, it's in a way, that's why I, I keep saying I miss the minimalism because somehow when it's rained back, I mean, we all know the, the, the juxtaposition of it. When it gets loud, you feel it more. It's mm-hmm. more yeah, I like the not not so much loud, quite loud, but just giving you giving you something to appreciate. Mm-hmm. Everything feels better in bursts, in my opinion. Yeah. Get on it, Russian circles. Change your sound for me. You're begging me. <laughs> yeah. Um, if if you're a fan of the band, you probably like this album. Uh if you never heard of them, I don't know. Maybe there's a better one, but uh Yeah, I, I mean maybe uh, it's uh, <laughs> not a not a bad output from them. No, uh, it'd be funny if this album does get a Wikipedia page and we're one of the. Uh, <laughs> fucking hope not. <laughs> Don't ever <laughs> cite us. <laughs> we should never be remembered. <laughs> uh, you know what? It, it might have been. I'm just. I might have just been thinking of their first album. I don't I, know. It was so crazy how 2006 is. Uh, like 20 years ago. Yeah, first album, Enter, came out in uh, 2006. Man, that really was a lifetime ago. Really was. A short lifetime, but a lifetime. Hey, look, it was, it was Rob Lowe on piano. Like, literally, the guy's name is Rob Lowe. I don't know if he's the same Rob Lowe no. that was in Parks and Rec. There's no way. I know, I know, but I wish it was. It'd be fun. It'd be it was so great if it was. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, yeah, and they, this album doesn't have a Wikipedia page. I mean, honestly, their whole Wikipedia page is a fucking insult. It's abysmal. It's tiny. It's, it's like, okay, yeah. You gotta, throw, gotta dig through interviews to, to find out more about them. Yeah, it sucks. Um, but they're around and they're alive and they should be supported. They made, yeah, they came back out of the pandemic and having their instruments stolen. Dude, man, I, th- like that's such and having all 
having all of it stolen is is such a like well i guess i gotta quit and become an accountant now yeah, there's nothing I, you could do i think they said 90 to 95 percent of the well it's like what they leave like one one crash symbol <laughs> fucking uh yeah, w- with a loss like that, I mean, because I've had sh- I've had sh- shit stolen at, at gigs before, and it's mm-hmm. it sucks. But never, and yeah, this is my livelihood like that. This isn't a big band that can just be like a what whatever. He, yeah, they're money at it. They're right? in surge and house. They probably they, hurt financially. That dude, the pandemic fucking killed these guys. It killed Dev having it killed Lingua. It killed fucking everyone. Else. It killed everyone on yeah. that label. I mean, he killed everyone on most labels, but yeah. that's just the one I, I paid attention to. Like, Devin put up that that live album, I think, to oh, just try and get right. something. Like, that's please, right. we're dying here. Yeah, and like they're they're like the one of the most like up there with Chelsea Wolf as like the most successful from that label. Mm-hmm. So that's like, yeah, the heck. I mean, it may be like a, a very you know, it's, it's a it's a even bigger small labels are still yes broke. Uh, the world sucks. But yeah. Uh, that's a uh, good album. Good album. Check it out. This is the worst rundown of that because <laughs> like, I mean, what must, you can't really say much. And also, if we're not putting on clips of it, there's not really much to reference. Yes. Um, but that is the nature of these shorter episodes. That's the nature of how I think I want it to be. To it's, be short, concise. Yes. And also, uh, I think just to talk a little bit about the bands in general that we don't ever get a chance to talk about because they're still putting out albums and some of them. I'm surprised how many albums these motherfuckers do have. Yeah, I honestly didn't even know until we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until eight, we're eight like, records. let's do it. And I was like, okay. And I, I was like, God damn. Eight albums. They're also another band where if like you don't love what they're doing, there's no point in like you don't need to hear all the albums. Like they are, they are a post, an instrumental post metal band. They do that thing all the time. I like it. They do it well. They do do it well. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. There's not much more to add. No, I don't think so. I think. <laughs> Man, these are going to be it's, it's way a, shorter than I thought they were going to be. It's a 40 minute album. People. It's a four. Honestly, what the fuck do you want from us? You want us to keep talking? We got nothing to say. <laughs> we can sign off. Get we're, our plugs dude, in. We're so used to doing two hour episodes. That yeah, this is uncomfortable. It's. I'm so <laughs> uncomfortable right now. I don't even know what to do. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I'm not talking about my day right now. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Should have done that at the beginning. I guess nah, nah, nah. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm tired. I've had a long day of work. This fucking computer has been crashing on me so much. Mm. Oh god. Locked in at the tail end of that. Yeah. Oh god. But anyway, uh, check out the album if you want. Honestly, check out a lot of their stuff. If you're, if you, I can't imagine that many people here don't know Russian circles. Yes. Um, or, or yeah. If for some reason this is new for you, I'm sure Apple and Spotify have the like essential playlist start there have some fun i fucking never enjoy their picks ah get some variety i'm i'm the opposite for a new band this uh just, you mean so you're, you're like oh fuck it just let me just hear what you got like, give me what? all the, give me all the hits yeah all right all right yeah i am not i can't do that i, fu- I fucking oh i, can't I get what do you're that. saying i get what yeah. you're saying but every once in a while well I, i'm mostly like that especially because of have my long track record of hating all the really famous good albums mm. and then liking all the ones that they hated mm. <laughs> and so i just feel like it'll let me down it'll be a bad representation for for me i think a band like this it's it's fine <laughs> it. fucking shut up it's fine <laughs> it's fine <laughs> all right <laughs> just right. trying to get Russian circles some place here. <laughs> Please listen to Russian circles; they're good, and then give them some money while you're at it. But I think we're gonna wrap it for now. Yep. We'll be back next week with the big old fat discography. Oh, who who will it be? Who will it be? I don't know. It's gonna be good. Actually, it's gonna be very cool. I'm excited for that one. Yeah. Already forgot. Yeah, that's right. You did, but I didn't forget. <laughs> Fuck yeah, motherfucker. Uh, and then the week after that, we'll be back with another short episode. If you don't like these, it's I'm sorry, but we need to live our lives too, okay? And if you do like these, then all right, cool, hello. Uh, but yeah, if you follow me on all social media at Pander Monkey, follow Alex on Instagram at Mother Puncture. Be sure to check out the full Gnosis record link in the description. And we got usually a place associated with all the episodes, and all those are at everyalbumover.com. Uh, we have but much bigger, longer episodes, and those are fun too. But <clears throat> uh, until then. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to play. I'm going to live on the Patreon. You can join the Patreon if you want to suggest these for us. We will be picking uh, 
the Patreon picks are for, or suggestions of, of these uh, these 2022 albums. And of course, when we're next year, it'll be 2023 albums. Just anything to stay current. My God, we are not current. We're trying to we're trying our best here. Say hello in the comments. What have been some of your favorite? albums of the year so far tell us why we're idiots please give us some engagement we totally love reading comments and we totally read them please tell us how stupid we are i i do read them (laughs) he does i'll even give you a like sometimes most of the time (laughs) most of the time all right all right that's enough dragging this thing out thank you so much for listening and watching and hanging out see ya